Hey there, it's Carrie with The Gilded Bubble, and today I'm going to be making a solid dish soap. This is a practice batch for myself, so I'm making a very small amount, and I am scenting it with Brambleberry's Lime. My label's a little faded, but you get the idea. It was a little upside down. You know, we don't, we don't judge around here, and there's also going to be some fresh lime juice in there as well. Um, I actually got this recipe from someone else. I will put a link to that recipe um, in the description box. You'll notice here too, I mixed this without wearing gloves <laughs> and um, it's because it's my own batch. I didn't worry about gloves while I was mixing my oils. Um, I also didn't worry about gloves while I was mixing my lye, which is a big no-no, but I thought mm, it's a small amount. I'll be fine. Literally the one and only time I've spilled my lye and it went right on my thumb. Um, thankfully I did not get burned. I s immediately washed it off, um, <laughs> but word to the wise, don't do it. Just don't. I was like, oh, it's very little. It's, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's not, Carrie. Follow safety protocols always, children. Why are you so dumb, Carrie? It's like the time I sliced my finger open on my soap planer. I knew better than to do what I was doing. I was cleaning it and I went against the blade. Just don't do it. So this is a very, very small batch. I'm using one of my little tiny, like 30 ounce pitchers here and just very, very briefly um, pulsing this with my stick blender to get it to emulsion. And then I'm just going to pour it into the mold. It's a really, really simple recipe. Um, this was a 90-10 of coconut and castor oil um, combined with the lime juice and a little bit of citric acid. So it's not a very complex. I had almost, I had, ne I had nearly everything in the recipe. I had to go buy a couple limes and uh, I also needed some citric acid. But other than that, it was really, really simple to do. I just mixed the lime juice and the scent straight in with my oils. I didn't really worry about it too much because I knew I was gonna stick blend it. Um, I just barely got this to emulsion and when I unmolded it, I did have a couple little deposits of oil, but it didn't separate. So I was just at the edge. I should have I should have stick blended it just a little more, but I wanted to make sure it was really liquid when I poured it. Because of all the coconut oil, it can accelerate, and I didn't want to have that happen because I wanted it to go into the mold really, really smoothly. But you can see, I've got emulsion there. It's just a little like, oh, I could have gone just a couple more pulses with that stick blender. But it turned out fine. We're actually in the process of testing this right now in our kitchen. And if all goes well, I'll start producing these for sale um, and using these little hockey puck style <laughs> molds here. I might even go to a, um, a column mold if I, if I do a lot of them, but it smells really good. I thought that lime scent along with the natural lime juice. The uh, creator of this recipe suggested lime essential oil, and I may go to that. Lime has a lot of grease cutting properties. So that would be a good benefit to it. But since I was making this for home use, I really just wanted to test it out and see. And I really like the scent of that lime fragrance oil. So that's why I decided to use it. When you're making stuff for your own benefit, you can do that. And here is where I realized I mismeasured. Mis Hello, can we speak? I mismeasured my recipe. Math is not where I excel at things, people. Um, and had to get out another mold. But it's nice because this little bit that I have left here that I'm scraping out off camera as usual, because, you know, Carrie can't remember to keep things in the frame, uh, that actually made a really good, like, test, test batch. So after this completely saponified, I went ahead and grabbed that piece and took it downstairs to just start messing with it. Uh, and last night, my husband used it to clean a pan, and he said it worked pretty well. So we'll see. And then I will test the others once they're a little more cured. The nice thing is because it's coconut oil and I water discounted, this should cure up pretty quickly. So I should be able to um, kind of really test it out in a week or two and really be pretty confident that most of the water has gone out. But also with a dish soap, you're probably never going to get it completely dry like you would a bar soap in your shower or even a, a hand soap on your counter. So I'm not particularly worried about that. Um, I will show you that how I unmolded it. Uh, it comes out pretty cleanly. Uh, it's really exciting. I, sh I assure you, you're going to be like, wow, Carrie, that's such a pretty soap. Um, but it, it does. It turns out really, really good. So I'll be back with that in three, two. Are you ready for the most boring unmolding you've ever seen? Look at that. I even missed getting one of them on film. But look at how nice and smooth that is. That's so satisfying. Uh, and then I don't even bother to show you more than one of them. Look at that. Totally off camera. Aren't I talented? Aren't you excited you pushed play on this video today? I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, there's one. You could kind of see my little pockets in there. Um, and you'll notice there's a soap there sitting to the side that I made that you'll get to see. 
soon. Anyway, if you enjoyed this very brief, very, very boring video, please like, maybe leave a comment. I don't know, could you tell me what you liked best about this very brief five minute video? Or give it a subscribe, I promise my videos are more exciting than this. And as always, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, you can also visit my website, thegildedbubble.com. And thank you so much for watching and enduring the boredom. Bye.